of this could have been avoided had I understood that women don't want to be helped. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a woman who calls herself Princilla, the queen maker, who advocates for women and trashes men while doing it. Well, recently, she just made an announcement that she now realizes that men weren't lying. She realizes men were telling the truth about how difficult it is that women can be. But let's take a listen to the way she talked before her discovery. The fact of the matter is, if you allow women to elevate without the male, the average male will not be able to reach her standards. And that's not because the average male can't reach a woman's standards. It's because the average man cannot reach today's modern woman's unrealistic standards. If I'm saying men are better, women are inferior, like we are the prize, you, I'm assuming, will feel the other way around. Women are superior. Oh, no, are baby, it's, it's real simple. Let's just put it to the test. Yeah. You ain't traveling across seas trying to go find no but we ain't passport girls. Of course, heterosexual women are not going overseas for some juice box. But there are a group of women traveling to get some banana. Clearly, she doesn't know about the women who go to Jamaica for the bamboo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video I made about it. I put the link in the description box below. Let's put it to the check. Okay. okay. Y'all can be better. I'm cool with that. You know, ain't no fight on my end, baby. See, when you know, let's let the truth reveal who's the strongest and who's the weakest. If women find out who y'all really are at the core and they know what I know and they stop dealing with you, let's see who go crazy first. Let's see who destroy the world. So she's trying to make it seem like men are the only ones who lose it when they're sexually frustrated. Please. I've seen video after video of women crying because they can't find a man to fulfill the void of emptiness in their lives. The bottom line is we both need each other because we were designed that way. So women, please stop trying to make like men are the only ones who lose it when they don't have companionship of the other gender. Y'all can either humble yourself Every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow that the true God is feminine energy. Y'all get in y'all place like you're supposed to be, right? Get in our place like we're supposed to be? Who's out of order here? You don't hear men running around talking about we can do anything a woman can do. Or you burn in hell on the inside when that just don't give you shit. But you hear women going around telling the whole world that they don't need a man and they can do everything that a man can do. I ask again. Who's out of order here? Now, take a listen to the other queen hyena. God damn! Using God's name in vain and sounding like a horse while she's doing it. God damn! I am loving this new crop of dark feminine energy queens. You heard her dark feminine energy popping up they're out here doing the lord's work putting us all on game and i hope y'all just listening and now calling women she's advocating for the b word she said we're not the ones out here crossing the globe looking for <laughs> let me ask again why would a heterosexual woman be looking for juice box there is no such thing as a passport girl. And you would be right, because they call themselves something else. Yeah, if you can't beat them, join them. So I have become a passport hoe. She said, when women know what I know about you, they're gonna stop dealing with you. And then let's see who goes crazy first. I know what she knows about men. And you know what? I stopped dealing with them too. And keep in mind, they're talking about the trash type of guys that they choose to get with. They're not talking about the good guys who would actually treat them well and do right by them. You already know they don't want the good guys. There's not a woman walking this earth that I've ever dated or ever been associated with that can say that I mistreated her or used her and just tossed her to the side. And if one does speak up, be prepared to take a lie detector test on camera. And don't worry about it, I'll pay for it. I'm not the only one. Movement is already happening. Women all over the world are saying, we're done, we're tired, we're finished. Okay, now keep in mind, 
This is one of those knucklehead women who was making videos talking down on the passport bros. Get your passport, brothers. <laughs> Seemingly a reference to the passport bro movement, which makes zero sense. Which means she knows that women in other countries are looking for husbands, especially husbands in places like the United States. Now she's saying women all over the world are done with men. This is why you can't believe anything that come out of these hyenas mouth. Guess what the common thread is? We're all happy. <laughs> and none of us want to go back. I have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want to make coffee with that person. I want, I want my person. I want my person. Why is it so hard to find your person? Unless it's for something really worth it. Someone who really actually adds value to our lives. Also known as do whatever she wants you to do for her that almost never benefits you. And you can already see signs of the men cracking. All these articles and news reports about young men not having enough sex. Okay, cool. Now show us men making videos admitting that they're not having enough sex. The videos that I'm seeing are men saying that they're tired of dealing with women like you. And how it's making them lose their Fruit Loops. So women, listen to these ladies. They know what they're talking about and they see through the patriarchy. Like she said, once you see men for who they really are at their core, trash, then you're liberated. And can't no man never tell you shit. And that's today's modern women's biggest problem. They're taking advice about men from bitter, angry women. If these women had real men in their lives, they wouldn't be choosing the bad boy type of dudes. Therefore, their experiences with men would be much better when it comes down to dating. Because we want to know that you are somehow better off or superior or your thinking, philosophy, and methods have yielded greater outcomes than the average person, which gives you merit for actually teaching them. Now understand this, if you are a woman who can't even maintain a, a meaningful relationship with the father of your child, you failed in romance. Whoa, if you are a woman, hold on. Uh uh, no. You don't. You hold no. on. It's not your turn. No, you because you don't. You don't. You don't get. You, you don't, don't get to paint a false narrative, sir. Sir, Let's you don't get to paint a false narrative. No, no. You will get a turn. It's just not your turn now. And you should have taught your kids that to take turns. I'm going to stop talking, and then you can speak. It's not your turn right now. Be silent. And guess what? When you're talking, I'm gonna take my turn to be silent. All right. Now, you're trying to step out as the leader of women and you failed at marriage. Marriage is supposed to be till death do us part and it appears you're still alive. So you failed at that. And when she had a conversation with Charleston White, she admitted she didn't have a man. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you say. Y'all, yeah. this is a woman with no man, though. Yeah. Don't you talk to them right. women with a man. That's right. Don't talk that's to right. them women that's, with a man. That's right. I'm I saw them mothers who were married 40, 50 years. You <laughs> talking to a woman with no man. Exactly. So you just heard her say she doesn't have a man. Now, the last I heard, she was still married, but she was separated from her husband, which means the marriage has failed. You're no example of uh, romance. Furthermore, on a financial level, if you want to teach women, one of the most meaningful things to teach anyone in this land of opportunity is finances, and you've not excelled at that. And I've watched many of her videos, and not one time have I seen her giving information about the proper handling of money. Unlike myself, I've mentioned the handling of money to men in several of my videos, and I don't promote hating women. My message is warning men about women who have evil intentions. And then if you look at education, you're just now getting a degree and you're creeping into menopause age. So you failed at that. Dang, bruh. <laughs> so the fact is you have not outperformed any average woman. So what is so narcissistic in your mind that makes you think you're up here to be a teacher of others? And that's my point also. Every time I hear her speak, all she does is trash men as though we're all the same. She doesn't give warnings or red flags to look for. She just tells women, stay away from men altogether. We choosing ourselves because ourself is the better choice. We ain't picking you niggas no more. Don't come on my platform. Don't come on my platform with that shit, Brad. I don't want to hear it. It's real shit, though. No, it's not, sir. 
Let me tell you, we taking responsibility right now. Now we see hundreds of videos of women blaming men, but how many of them can we find of women taking responsibility for their part in their failed relationships? We finna shift this whole thing and we ain't with you no more, right? This is respons right. Them, this responsibility. We ain't fucking with you no more. Whenever I hear a black woman angry and referring to black men as the N-word, the majority of the time I already know what type of black man she's been dealing with, commonly known as Pookie and Ray Ray. The women I've dated never use the N-word, and neither do I. Now, now, we are at fault. We at fault for listening to you. We at fault for trusting you. We at fault for believing that you could be anything more than a mother and savage. Now notice she's trying to claim that they're taking responsibility for listening to men. No, you were listening to a male. Because if you were listening to a man that had his stuff together, he never would lead you astray. And I, a man who never led a woman astray, has never acted like a savage with a woman or otherwise. But now she's singing a whole nother song. Clearly she's gotten involved with a woman and now she's finding out that what men have been talking about all along, we've been telling the truth. It's not just us men that's the problem. All of this could have been avoided had I understood that women don't want to be helped. There's a reason that these dudes got this song called Don't Save Her, She Don't Want to Be Saved. Don't save her, she don't want to be saved. <laughs> don't save her, she don't want to be saved. Don't save her, she don't want to be saved. These men who deal with women on a regular basis they know something about women that I am not fully aware of because I ain't never really had no female friends. I got a few of them, but the majority of my life I've been hanging around guys. A bit of information here. She's only dated one woman and it's gone south and she's ready to abandon helping women already. My brother, my cousins, friends, basketball, you know, I, I've just been in male dominated spaces. So I don't deal with women like this. Had I known that women are as, I never wanted to say that women are emotionally irrational. I never wanted to say that because I know that women are intelligent. And I feel like a lot of women would move beyond these irrational emotions if you activate their mind. <laughs> That's the same thing we thought. <laughs> that is what made me deal with B. Taylor. Period. Because I quote unquote saved her from the manosphere. Not because I'm trying to run no game, but because I'm trying to help you as a woman. Because that's my mission to help women. But what this has shown me is that I need to reevaluate how I even decide to help women because now I see that you probably can't help them either. And that's her just dealing with one woman. Imagine what she would be talking like if she had gone through the same thing with several women. Now she's gotten the opportunity to see what some of us men have been dealing with for decades. Women like her want to paint the picture that all men are rotten, but we know better. We know that not only are there rotten women out there, there are women out there who choose these rotten men. But she's not the first one to quit helping women. Remember April Mason, who was a femininity coach? She quit helping women because she said, the majority that come to me have unrealistic expectations, the selfishness, the fake everything, think they should be chosen because they have a vagina and good looks, the entitlement, just me, not knowing the difference between being a woman and being a wise woman, and will fight you to be strong, not knowing how to be versus do, thinking being a feminine woman is weak or a pick me, whatever that is, Placing the blame and not taking responsibility or accountability for the choices they made in men. Now, what about Rebecca Lynn Pope? She said she quit matchmaking women because she just couldn't deal with them anymore. Because as you girls know, I'm a matchmaker. And for a large part of uh, the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I stopped matchmaking. And the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I literally was being, I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females. And I had a few male clients, but predominantly I was matching women. And listen, what I, it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that 
The average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. But this is nothing what men are. They're, this is not realistic for who men are, how they think, what they value. It's just this preconceived you know, idea that women have of who men should be. But this is not reality, okay? And here she's making a point, but with women who dated the bad boy type, and now they want to cross over to the good man. You're comparing good men to, I can't say this, F boys. I'm just going to say it. So now she only deals with matchmaking men to women that she already knows have their stuff together. So Miss Priscilla the Queen Maker, what are you going to change your name to now? What's your platform going to be about now? Are you still going to advocate for women while destroying men in the process? I guess the only thing left for me to say is, congratulations, you played yourself. So let me get this straight. Princella had one public falling out with B. Taylor, and now she's done? Princella, do you know how many times what's happening to you has happened to men? Women that we've done so much for coming out and speaking bad on our name and throwing dirt on our name and making accusations. Do you know that that happens to us every day? Nobody says anything. Now you done fell in love and the person that you loved and took care of and was there for, they came out and went in on you. And now you're looking at us talking about they can't be helped. We told you this. You didn't listen. Well, look at that change up. She knows now, she had to live it. What's that old proverb? To understand a man, you must first walk a mile in his moccasins. You're starting to walk. You're starting to understand. Now I wonder if your content will change up a little bit. And maybe now you'll write a book called The 41 Shades of Women. You've got one down, you need 40 more. And maybe that book will sell better than your 41 Shades of Men. What Princella is starting to realize is that men have been telling the truth. We have been correct. It does not matter what you do for some women. It does not matter if you house them, you pull them out of a bad situation, you take care of them, you provide for them, you protect them, you are there for them emotionally, physically, sexually, in all of the ways that you can be there for a person. If they don't want to be saved, no matter how great your love is, they're going to turn their back on you and they're going to treat you poorly. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.